That mystery man from last month's attack in Brussels, it shows the route the man in white took as he fled the scene of the airport bombing, and authorities hope will help track him down. ABC's Alex Marquardt has the latest. This morning, Belgian police are hoping this new video of the prime suspect, the so-called man in the hat, will offer them a new lead. He had been seen just before 8 a.m. with the two airport suicide bombers, wheeling their explosives on carts that ripped through the departures hall. Carnage and chaos as the third attacker, wearing his tan coat, fled, even breaking into a jog like those around him. For almost an hour, there were no cameras that picked him up. The authorities say the man was walking through this town, which is right next to the airport. During that time, they say, as he walked towards Brussels, he got rid of his famous tan jacket. When he's seen next at 8.50 a.m., he's in a light blue shirt, the sleeves rolled up, appearing to be talking on the phone. Police believe he walked into Brussels six miles from the airport. There, seen again among the masses, 40 minutes after the second attack at the metro, elbow patches visible on his shirt, still wearing the hat. With no trace and no name, authorities now hoping the public will remember seeing him. There is more information about one of the other attackers, though, one of the suicide bombers here at the airport, the alleged bomb maker. He had worked for two months as a cleaner at the European Parliament in 2009 and 2010. At the time, he had no criminal record. Amy? All right. Alex Marquardt, thank you for the latest.